In this video, we're going to plan out the month of May and do the dashboard pages in my Erin Condren monthly planner. If that sounds interesting to you, please make sure you're subscribed and I'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kristen. I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week, usually in my Erin Condren monthly planner. Um, in today's video, we are going to change my cover. We're going to do the whole monthly spread. You can see I've already got it all prepped and we're gonna do the dashboard pages here too. So this is usually a, one of my longer videos. Um, so grab a snack or a drink and grab your planner and let's plan together. Um, in my lineup video, I did a poll asking which cover I should use for May because I didn't have a specific one that I was thinking of. And it was a tie between the Etta V Kindness Always and the Etta V Bliss. But then I went to Austin and I went to the Erin Condren store in Austin and they had this beautiful Texas cover um, and it's peach. So I know you voted on the cover for May, but is this one not perfect or what? It's exactly what I need. So I'm gonna use this for May and then I will probably put the Kindness Always cover on my content planner. So let's take this off. I put the mid-century circles cover on when we went to Austin because I brought my planner with me and I had taken some pictures with it at the Erin Condren store. So I wanted the mid-century circles cover on there for those photos. Um, let me put the back cover on. I like to just line it up the edges first and then just kind of snap it in like that. For me that seems to be the quickest way to do it. Let me take off my little thing here. I put some pictures in there. Okay and now I'll put the front cover on. So, like I said, I went to the Erin Condren store in Austin. It was so much fun. Um, if you're ever in Austin, I totally recommend it. And, uh oh, this one's not popping in. Um, pretty soon I'm gonna have a vlog um, showing you, you know, the store and what I got and stuff like that. But um, I had to put this on for May, so. All right, let's go to May and we are using these sticker sheets from the Erin Condren monthly sticker book. This was from the current one that is available now and that is edition eight. And then this one was from edition seven which is no longer available but I actually like this one better. So I don't know, we're gonna use as much of these as we can. I also have my folder here with all my May stickers. I've got all the peachy kind of color that I cut out of all the stickers that are coiled into the back of the planner. Um, these are some more similar like that. These came from a teacher planner. These came from the budget file folders calendar. And then these were just some planner Kate date dots. And then I just had some coordinating floral stickers from a paper studio book, a little mini sticker book from Hobby Lobby. So we have those. And then I also have my monthly folder that has my Formula One stickers. I definitely need those. We've got a Memorial Day sticker in here we might use. And then there's just some other options in here if I need them. So I'm just gonna set that to the side as well in case I need it. What we need to do is get all of these sticky notes off of here and I'm gonna start with my sidebar because that's typically where I will put in like the school holidays or if we're going on a trip or something like that and I need to have that marked first. That's kind of just how I prefer to do it. And um, oh, I need to get my reusable sticker album. I'll be right back. Okay, so I have this um, Orange Umbrella Co. reusable sticker album and I just have extra stickers in here that match the Erin Condren monthly colors. And here is my little two page spread of May colored stickers. And then I have some scripts here that have to do with like the last day of school and stuff. So I definitely want that handy. And the last day of school is the 26th. So, 
and we don't have any like spans of things like I don't need to put washi across a few days so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just start with that last day of school sticker that is an orange umbrella co it came from like the mixed school scripts um, I have last day of school and I have summer break begins I think we're just going to go with last day of school so that is like a special a special day Everybody likes the last day of school. Um, what if we put that on one of these? What about one of these like sideways? How about that? I never do that, but let's get one of these. These are like little page flags and I'm gonna put that here. Let me get my tweezers. My tweezers will help me position it so I can see what I'm doing. I think that's good. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. The last day of school, we've got tons of things that I need to get on here. So let's start with the bill stickers I need Tennis, Disney, Adobe. So I need three. Do I have three that match anywhere? I have here, Bill Do. So we've got tennis will be due on this day. And I'm going to move my sticky note here to August because, oh, I already have that one for August. So this one's gonna go for September because that will be when I need to start paying for tennis again because it goes with the school year. So we've got, oh, that's a little bit crooked. Use my little spatula here. I painted my nails so they have gel polish on them, and so I can't just pick up a sticker anymore. I actually need this little flat edge here. Okay, and then while I have the bill stickers out. We'll do all the bills. Disney Plus is usually on the 8th, so I'll move this one to the 8th for June. And Disney Plus is 14.03. And then Adobe is usually on the 12th, and that's 59.53. I have been using these same um, sticky notes. These, most of these came from the Harmony collection and then some of them came from the mid-century circles. I've been using these for so long. They were in my previous planner and they just keep getting moved and they are doing fine. Um, I recently saw another question on one of the Facebook groups asking if the Erin Condren sticky notes have improved and honestly, I don't have a problem with them. Like they don't fall off and these have been made, moved months and months and months and months every month, so. I like them and I keep buying them and using them, so. Um, I do not have any Erin Condren points expiring this month. I did spend some of my points and now I know they don't expire until July, so I'm gonna move that. Let's get that out of the way. And this, we've already renewed, okay. All right, book club, star testing, which let's put this here. 
and this here so I don't forget about them up there in the header. Um, star testing is these two days and I don't know if I have any stickers for testing but I do have these cute pencils I will probably use. Test day, test day. Let's use those. Um, and I will span that across the two. We can do that with the washi. So I'm going to use the, sh the smaller washi here. And I'm going to just go like this. And I will use my slice tool to cut it. And then I will just take I think we'll do it this way instead of using two I will do that and then I'll put the pencil there as well. That is the um, state standardized testing. And um, I don't actually know if my son is taking the test that day or if that's like the makeup day. I just know that was on the list of dates the school gave us that they are doing testing. So even if he's already done with his testing, because there's another date at the end of April um, here. So if he does his testing these days, I still will not be able to schedule like an orthodontist appointment or anything for my son on those days because they don't want anyone going to the school. So let's see what else. So that I'm going to actually move um, here because that is that pertains to that week and then book club. So our book club is coming up. I'm so excited. Um, I'm nervous, but I'm excited. So <laughs> um, I don't know. I do have some of these. What else do I have in here? There's nothing book related on these. So I think, do I have anything in the color we need on this page for books? No, um, but let's do this Planner Kate um, label here. And book club is going to be at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. Um, I don't know if I can fit all that. How do I do this? I'll just write small book club. 7.30 p.m. If, if by the time you're watching this and you haven't received an email yet with the um, information on how to access the call that we're doing the book club on, um, you will soon. I don't know exactly when I'm going to send it, but um, it's coming. Don't worry. Okay, so there's a school dance that Friday that my son has said he wants to go to. And then I'm also planning a gaming night that night. So let's get a sticker to write the school dance info. And then I will just put my Minecraft sticker, which I have in here. Yeah, so let's get the Minecraft sticker down here. And I also like to do that of like the first Friday of every month. So I'm going to move that. Now the dance we will put on one of these, I think. And where's my pen? So School dance, 7 to 9 p.m. And if he decides he doesn't want to go to that after all, then I will just move that sticker. Oh, wait, we're doing this. OK. 
Okay, now I need to do my Twitch sub and my son's haircut, which I have a haircut sticker. Oh, we have two haircuts, so I'll put that there and this here. Um, let's put them at the top, actually, because we'll do that earlier in the day. And then we'll also clean the car on this day. And sure, let's do it this day, too. And then the haircuts. So the 27th, so one will be here, and then the next one will be here. Okay, and the Twitch resub, I have a little sticker for that somewhere. Here it is. Just to remind me. Just put the icon up in the top corner, and then that will be next month on June the 7th. Okay, so the her there we go, the whole first week is done. And I'm gonna leave this sticky note here because I don't know yet if I'm actually doing this um, sub job that day. And we have Mother's Day here, and like I said, I don't have a sticker for that. Um, Let's just use this pretty heart. And if we decide to do anything, I can put something else in here. And then um, the next week I have a lash appointment and nothing. So just the lash appointment. And I don't know if I have any scripts left for that, but let's, oh wait, I have one on here. I made that. Never mind. Um, and then I'm going to put that on. I think I'm just gonna put it on there and not actually put the time or an appointment label. I haven't scheduled that yet, so I don't really wanna put that on there yet. Um, so then that the next one will be here and then the next one will be here. There we go. And nothing else that week, okay. <laughs> and then this week we have some things. So let's see. I need one payday and I only have one here, so that's perfect. Um, so we'll do the payday flag up here. And then I think on the little budgeting sheet, I have these little piggies that have like a May colored heart on them for my savings deposit. So that works out great. And then these can go to next month, um, these days, and then this is when I will do the savings deposit. Okay, and then my monthly check-in. That is going to be, I think I have a planning time, I do. So we're gonna use this planning time as the monthly check-in. And what stickers do we have here? I think I'm gonna use one of the asterisks for that because I like them. Um, I don't know, it already has its own little icon, so I'm not gonna do that actually after all. I could put these on like the Minecraft night. No, then that's too crowded. I'll just stick it up here so it doesn't get lost. All these stickers are just kind of peeling off the sheet now. So I'll put that one, that one there, and this one can go here. Okay. Um, this needs to go on the second to last Tuesday of the month. And we have a date night. This is my husband's birthday, and so I'm assuming he will be in town that week, and then we will do a date night for his birthday. And 
And I think I have a balloon in here. Let's use this because it's special. And then do I have a 28 on my date dot sheet? I do, I have a leftover 28, so that's perfect. So I will put this 28 over here. And we'll do date night and um, actually, is there a race that weekend? That's what I forgot to do. I forgot to put the races in. Um, let me do that real quick. I go to my Formula One cheat sheet here. And May 5th, oh yeah, we've got Miami, Imola, and Monaco. So 18, 20, and 21. So, and then are any of those sprint weekends? No, perfect, okay. So Miami is this week. I'm gonna put it at the top. Cause wait, is Miami and what time are they? Miami's an afternoon race, but the other ones are morning races. So I'm still just gonna put this, I'll put this down here. Okay. So we have qualifying is on Saturday and the race is on Sunday. Okay, and then these two weekends are also, so Imola is on the 21st and I'm going to, you know, I don't know how to do this. Maybe we'll move the date night to Saturday because that is a Sunday night, so. We'll move the date night to Saturday. Monaco. I'm gonna cut these so it cut this one so it fits in my little fancy square here. And then quality. There we go, that's a lot going on that day, but that's okay. I need the birthday balloons here. And we have birthday balloons. Okay, there we go. There's that week done. Oh, and then I wanted to note some things here about school. So um, this day they have to return their books. There's an award ceremony. Okay. Um, I need to put, I'm gonna put the, the these on here. I'll use these pencils because they are school related, um, I think. This one is for field day. And then this one I will do like a half box. I guess we could do this scallop box here because there's two things. There's, right? Yeah, there's an award ceremony and then he needs to return his computer that day. No, this is what we're gonna do. I'm just gonna use the pencils because I have them and it makes sense to me to use them. So this one is 9.30 awards and this one is 
field day and then I'm going to use one of these like checkbox ones for returning the Chromebooks, I think. Do we have any here? I'll just, I don't know. I like to use singles. We'll use this one. Mm, maybe that's too big. That's okay. Return Chromebook. Okay. And I think that's everything from here. Last day of school, husband's birthday, field day, return Chromebook, awards, and Mother's Day. Yes, we're done with that. And um, there's nothing here. So, yeah, I just need to do my uh, monthly reset checklist. Actually, so here's the thing. I'm thinking about making this whole thing like my to-do list. Like, do you remember last month I did uh, my to-do list here? Well, I never typically use the sidebar. So like, let's see what's going on in the sidebar. Like it's kind of empty. So what if I made that my to-do list? I can still put my monthly reset there, but then also add these things to the sidebar. I think that's a good idea. Let's try that. So the monthly reset, I need to change my device wallpapers. And do my camera roll. I need to do my command center. and um, clean out my inboxes. So that's like my typical monthly reset. And do I wanna put that here? Let me see one of these. Can I put that like on here like this? I want to put like a to-do or something here. Like this says to-do. I'm going to use that and just cover up where it says notes. And then I can add my to-dos here under it. Okay, and then as usual, I'm gonna add deco at the end after I finish, you know, writing all over everything. So let's decorate these pages. So again, I don't know what I'm using this page for if I'm not using it for a to-do list. You can see that I've used it in the past as an actual running to-do list. Um, April, I tried to use it for something different and ended up not putting anything there. Um, I did start making like a habit tracker here and I'm thinking that might be what I end up doing. I was inspired by Lauren from creating self-care plans to track my yoga practice. And that is one of my goals for um, it's not on here. I think I've looked at this before, but it was one of the things that I talked about in my quarter two goals is I wanted to start um, moving a little more because after May is over, I won't have that like specific scheduled time to go for a walk when he's at tennis practice because he doesn't have his daily tennis practice in the summer. So I do want to use this, I think, for tracking yoga and any other kind of movement, like if I go for a walk or play tennis with my kid. Um, and then also, what was I doing last month? I was tracking... Um, no sugar and stuff like that. So I'm thinking we will make that some kind of a tracker using my Erin Condren stencil. You can see here, I just drew out like the month 
and then made a spot and like a key for tracking that. So I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw this again and then I will track it and then write down the minutes or whatever for the movement, I think. Basically, I think I'm gonna copy that and then just decorate it. And then this is still just gonna be a spot for notes. Um, maybe. Okay, let's, um, let's do that. Let's just start decorating. Mm, let's use these flowers. I always forget not to go all the way to the edge on these because they are slightly off. Okay, so there's that. And then we have Bloom Wildly. And let's root for each other. You grow, girl. And then another Bloom Wildly. I like let's root for each other. I think that is so cute. And I love the sentiment because there is room for everybody to succeed. So let's put that somewhere. Let's root for each other. And then of course we need to put a plant to make the pun, you know, make sense, right? So let's do this plant. Oh, I didn't, I put it slightly too low and then that logo is peeking out right there. So I have this sticky note here and that is um, just in case I needed to write something down before I got like the page all set up and I didn't end up using it. So I'm actually just gonna move that. And so I wanna put that other piece of washi. Here. And how many lines do I need? I can put it right here and that will be enough. And then I like the bloom wildly sentiment, I think, for that. I just think it's nice. And we have two options here. We have the white background one, and then we have this circle. Let's try the circle. Like that. And then I'll use my stencil. I need to see how the month falls. So we have five rows and it starts on a Monday, ends on a Wednesday. Okay. Um, let's see if this is, I'm going to use the, oh, I could just use one of these instead of drawing that part out, like for the, the title of the tracker. So let me get my micron to draw the lines of the tracker, draw the boxes in of the tracker. I need enough room for the key. Let me see how I did it before. Um, I have four lines worth of stuff to write down. So one, two, three, four. We'll draw the boxes here. And one, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, that's plenty of space. Oh, I didn't want to do that one. I already messed up. Um, I'll white out that piece in a minute. So May ends on a Wednesday. Okay, now we're going. I really love this um, 
stencil for this, it makes me want to draw out the tracker. Although, I'm still not 100% on board with tracking everything, but making the tracker is fun, so maybe that will encourage me to use it. There's that, and then let me white out that little part that I don't need. Now, the key for this, oh, I should do the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Should I write it in like that? I wanna try this. Try to draw it in the box so it's very even and neat. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. That T could have looked better, but that's okay. And I'll use this to say movement. I like saying movement more than exercise because in my mind, exercise means like, you know, going to the gym and working out, <laughs> um, where I, that just turns me off. But taking a walk or, you know, doing some gentle yoga, that's much more appealing to me. <laughs> Whatever you gotta do to convince yourself to do it, right? Okay, and I'm just gonna put this here because it's cute. And let's draw the key in. So I like to do where in case I walk and do yoga in one day, it's noted. So we have like the one cross of the X that way and then the one cross of the X that way. And then what if I do three things in a day? That's probably not gonna happen, but hey, you never know. Um, so then there's also a circle. So we've got um, walking, we've got yoga, and then we've got other. And then my movement goal is just to do something five times a week. And that might be a short walk. That might be a 10 minute yoga stretching thing in the morning. Like it doesn't have to be like this serious workout. It's just move my body. Don't just sit there all day. Um, five times a week is the goal. And then over here, I'm, what I'm planning on doing is writing in what I do. Um, I want to track the minutes of yoga. I really like how Lauren does that. And then she can add it all up and see like that was a lot of minutes, right? So I think that's um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it as yoga minutes here, but we're going to leave it blank for now, just in case I change my mind. Over here, my goals that I'm working on for May are down here. So the main ones are the book club and the summer trip. So what I wanna do is I want to leave a spot for planning um, a trip with my mom and my son and maybe my husband for the summer. And so I think that's what this is gonna be. This I wanna put any notes about book club. Um, this can actually go on the to-do list. And whenever I fill out that, I can put that stuff on that list. And then this will still be the goals that I've written here, I think, so that I can just check them off. I think that sounds good. Okay, so school, and I'm gonna use my sticker here that says no school, and I'm gonna cut off the word no, like I typically do. And we will do this one here. Cut off the word no. And We'll put the projects because in summer, in June, we're not gonna have school. So I'm just gonna put projects there. And then in July, I'm gonna put school because we will start back to school shopping. Okay. 
And let's use the asterisks here. So this one is goals. And I don't actually have a script that says goals anymore. That's something I need to make or buy or something. I want the scripts to match and I don't have anything that says goals. I have projects, but I don't have goals. I could just use tending list. Meh. Just write it in. I should have just written in school and then it would have matched, but too late now. Goals and that, my arm was on the coil and that looks dumb, but whatever. This is why I like scripts for stuff like that. I like everything to look the same. So, um, where is my highlighter? Oh, you know what I did? I found a highlighter that matches better than the ones we did in the, the lineup video. These, so look, these are the brand new Inspire writing tools and there's a color in here that says cherry, but it's the same as the color in here that says cherry blossom. And this is the In Bloom writing tools. So if you already have this, this is a great color for May. I didn't have these during that lineup video, so um, I didn't know that that was a way better option. So I'm gonna use these. And what we did last time, I just highlighted um, next to each goal. So the highlight is the category and then the writing underneath it is like the actual action, I guess you could say. So, and that matches perfectly. So yeah, there's your May color. So we've got, our categories are health, home, um, creativity, and financial. For health, I just want to have consistent nutrition and that's something that I really should have a tracker for because it's more of a habit than a task-based goal. Um, but I'm right now, I'm basically just tracking that with a food log in like a little notebook I'm using. So we're just going to keep doing that. So consistent nutrition at home. I want to learn about landscaping um, for my backyard and my front yard just to know what kind of plants to invest in. Uh, creativity, I'm going to pour all my creativity this month into my content planning and not do like a crafty project. Um, I talked about that a little more in my um, April review and May goals video if you want to hear more about that thought process. And then my financial goal is just another savings deposit and that is like the easiest goal task, action task I can check off every month. And so I like to include it. Um, so let's put this back in here for next month and um, school related stuff. Um, I think that will just get filled in as things come up. It's the end of the year. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of, you know, notices and things like that, that I'm going to need to t keep track of. Oh, let me get the date night sticky um, and we will do... 
I'm assuming Father's Day is around this time and maybe my husband will be home. Okay, this was going to be notes on what? What did I say this was going to be? Now that it's not the to-do list. Do we remember what I said it was going to be? Book club. Okay, so I need to get, I want to get like a sticker. Uh, don't I have a little book sticker? Yeah. Here's a stack of books. I don't know where these came from, but we'll do... Notes about book club. And I don't have any notes to put there right this minute, but that is where they will go. All right, and now let's put this was the, um, the trip planner area. And I'm going to use the short washi and then use this other flag and kind of build something big enough for this. Is that gonna work? Yeah, okay. So we just need to tuck this under just slightly. And then it should match all the way. It should make it most of the way down here to look like intentional. Yeah. And then I'll just put some deco over here. And I think We've kind of picked a location, but we haven't booked anything. So I think I'm gonna put like, you know, location here and then any information here once we book that. So yeah, that is how I'm doing the dashboard. And I don't think I need any of these. Let's clean up and then we'll put some deco down. Oh, I forgot to put this Memorial Day. But I don't have any of the other, I don't have like Mother's Day, so um. I'm not going to put it there. Am I? Okay. There's nothing there. I'll just put it there. Why not? Let's use it. We have it. Put it down here at the bottom. Okay. So let me put these away in my monthly thing here. And stencils, these go in the May. Oh, I need this for deco. Hey, I had these little school things here. I'm gonna put this like exclamation point on this return Chromebook, cause that's like important. He needs to get that turned in so we, you know, don't get charged for it. <laughs> All right. And then here is our deco. Um, all right, I like the green. Oh, I didn't write my to-do list, so, um, Fertilizer. I'm gonna put this on August. Okay. Um, what else do I need to add? What do I normally add on my to-do list? Um, photo printing. And then I will need to prep for the next month's book, book club as well. Book club prep. And then what I'm gonna do is just add to that. Um, what do I have here? Set up Roomba, mulch, yeah. So I think, yeah, 
that's good. I don't think I need um, to keep adding here. I'll just add to it as I need to. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay, cool. Um, let's put a little bit of deco here to pull in some other colors because all we have is this peachy pink color. Um, I love the plants, they're so cute. I wish we had more of this. i put this plant down here and this one. I don't know, I'm so bad at deco. I don't know how to make it look good. How does everybody else make it look so good? I need to bring the green over here. Sure. And then let's put some on this page too. I've got one here and here. Let's put this little plant guy. Like right here, I think. Um, I just ripped a leaf off. That's like how I am with real plants too. <laughs> All right, good as new. Okay, I think that's good. Um, it's not over the top, overdone, and like it's not, um, it's not overwhelming. Okay, so that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you really liked it, please consider subscribing because I post functional planning videos on my channel three times a week and I would love to see you in the next one. Okay, bye.